get more now on Donald Trump's response to last night's terror attack in New York. He called the suspect an animal and said he would consider sending him to Guantanamo Bay. He also wants to shut down the immigration program that allowed Saif Saipov uh, to come to the United States. Is uh, such a robust, a robust response the right one? Joined from Virginia by uh, Brigitte Gabrielle, terrorism analyst and founder of Act for America, and Imam Mohammed Ali Ilahi, spiritual leader of the Islamic House of Wisdom in Dearborn Heights. Uh, he is joining us from Michigan. Hello to you both. Thank you so much for joining us on Sky News this afternoon. Let's go to Brigitte, first of all, who's standing by uh, in Virginia Beach for us. Uh, your view on what we've heard from the president over the last few hours, first of all. Uh, I think it is fantastic that he is putting an immediate stop on the lottery visa or the diversity visa program. Uh, this has been a very vulnerable part in our country. As a matter of fact, the State Department back in 2007, 10 years ago, issued a report warning about the vulnerability of the program and the lack of proper vetting of these individuals coming to the United States, especially when you look at the countries listed on these um, uh, countries who qualify to enter America uh, under the visa a program such as Libya, Nigeria, Yemen, Syria, Iraq. When you look at these countries and many more, you think to yourself, why are we allowing ourselves to be this vulnerable considering the war on terror that we are experiencing now worldwide and knowing that now ISIS and radical Islamic terrorists are trying to get into the country and they will do everything they can to get here. Of so course. this is great news from the president today. Yeah, but nevertheless, Uzbekistan wasn't on that list, was it, the banned list? Uh, no, it, it, uh, uh, Uzbekistan uh, was not on the banned list. It was on the list for people to be able to get in here. Okay. Um, let's uh, bring in the imam, should we? Hello to you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Your reaction to what we heard from the president? Well, first of all, I'm sad for what happened in New York and heartbreaking uh, tragedy. But uh, what I hear from Bridget here, that is not a surprise for me that uh, she is actually the, her career based on fear mongering and hate mongering. And she herself is an immigrant from Burj al Barajan. And I'm wondering when she was in Beirut uh, a few years ago, and if she had heard another Bridget talk like this that she's talking now, probably she would say, oh, it's so mean, so cheap, and, and, and so uh, like uh, uh, selfish. Uh, no, no doubt that every American citizen should be a soldier for security. Uh, but the point is that uh, America is a nation of immigration, and we have to be very careful not to turn any situation, any tragedy like yesterday, uh, to an Islamophobia and targeting the Islam and Muslim, and not only that, targeting even uh, the, the entire Democrats and Obama and CNN and, and targeting everybody. Something that really I, uh, uh, you know, bothers me about uh, President uh, Trump, showing no respect for everybody. Everybody. I mean, you can discuss this matter of immigration, no problem, but you cannot use your Twitter and target everybody. I mean, why is it now this guy, fake guy, this guy that is not a, a sort of God, is a sort of Satan, uh, uh, fault that he committed this crime, now they talk about his race and his color and his religion and blaming all Muslims for that. But the, the tragedy of Charlottesville, when the, 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 that guy, James, uh, did did the same thing, use his car and attack the crowd and killed and wounded more than 20 people, or the, the, the tragedy of Las Vegas with, the, with this guy, uh, Stephen Paddock, uh, killed and wounded more than 600 people, uh, having 42 guns. Nobody talk about his religion or about race or about his color. So I think this is not fair. We need to have an honest and open conversation about these issues. Okay. Uh, President is saying that ISIS was defeated in, in Middle East. Who is fighting ISIS in the Middle East. Syria is fighting it. Lebanon is fighting ISIS. Iran is fighting ISIS. Iraq is fighting ISIS. But the, the allies of the United States, like Israel, is uh, is providing uh, like a medical okay. service to ISIS. Okay. And uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi okay. Arabia is providing the manpower and money and, and ideology of Salafi okay. to the... Uh, Imam, I may so, let Brigitte come back in and uh, respond to some of your uh, suggestions, allegations, that you have to be careful, Brigitte, uh, according to the Imam, not to be seen as an Islamophobe. 
We are, I'm a terrorism analyst. I do not speak as an Islamophobe. And by the way, I never lived in Beirut. I left Lebanon. I'm in South Lebanon, was raised in the South and left to Israel and immigrated to the United States from the state of Israel, not from Lebanon. So as a terrorism analyst who made it my life's mission to study and report on terrorism and also as a survivor to Islamic terror, uh, it is important to identify and talk about the terrorists and what they are doing. If it was a Christian screaming in Jesus' name, mowing people down with trucks all over the world, I will be talking about that Christian as well. But what we are witnessing right now is not Buddhists killing people, it's not Christians killing people, it's not Jews killing people, it's not Hindus killing people, it is Islamic terrorists yelling Allahu Akbar mowing down people, whether in Barcelona, whether in England, whether in Australia, whether in America, whether in Canada, and I can go down the list. And also the ban that we are talking about is uh, stopping the visa lottery program is for all countries. We're not specifying this is only, we want to stop immigration from people coming from Algeria. Actually, the, 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 immig the visa program in general, the visa lottery, need to be stopped regardless of what country is on the list. But we are talking about radical Islamists coming into our country and knowing that ISIS specifically said that they want to infiltrate whether the refugee population or get into America and the West. And we have already seen them do, do that. And this is why we have to be very careful in throwing political correctness in the garbage and let the terrorism analysts and the generals and those in power do what they need to do to protect their countries, whether in England or in the United States or any other Western country in the world. Okay, Imam? I agree. I agree. Terrorism is terrorism. Extremism is extremism. We cannot good terrorists and bad terrorists, good extremists or bad, bad extremists. We have to be objective about this, this situation in general. But I wonder if uh, Bridget would show the same energy and enthusiasm when 600 people were killed or wounded in, in, in Las Vegas. I didn't you talking about uh, white or about Christians or about anything else. Why is it that you are so energized when it comes to Islamophobia and when it comes to just uh, Muslims and Islam? That is double standard. That is hypocrisy. And that is not fair. I mean, even about President Trump, when he was doing the campaign, yeah. Obviously, you used to say the Saudi, Saudi Arabia is under, I speak about under, terrorism under and Islamic terrorism. But when he became the president, he was the first one, the first station that he stopped by was Saudi Arabia. I mean, come on, we have to respect, we have to be honest about, uh, you know, our uh, statement, and we cannot have everyday contradictory statement. So we are against ISIS, we are against terrorism, and especially yesterday that the tourists were the targets of terrorism. That is awful, that is disgusting, but we have to be fair to everyone. It is not that uh, ISIS is good sometime and bad sometime. Now we are saying in Syria we are supporting the rebel. The same the criminal rebels are going to be ISIS of tomorrow. So we cannot continue this double standard. We have to be serious about fighting terrorism. Fight terrorism, not Islam. Fight terrorism, not Muslim. Don't blame Muslims for every silly things that happen in the world, like uh, Islam should be blamed for our the problems of the world. That is not right, and that does not stop terrorism. We have to talk about seriously fighting the, the extremism and, and terrorism, and don't distinguish who is good terrorist and who is bad terrorist. And this is the problem. We were not successful in our fight against terrorism because of this hypocrisy, because of this dishonesty. Okay, final thought from you, Brigitte. Well, we need more imams like him speaking out against people yelling Allahu Akbar, mowing down people. The reason why we are speaking about Islamic terrorism, it is because Islamic terrorism right now is spreading like cancer across the globe, affecting all countries, Western and otherwise. And that we need imams like him taking the time instead of ranting and raving about patriotic people speaking in defense of their countries, we need him to condemn people yelling Allahu Akbar,
killing people with machetes, with bombs, with suicide belts, uh, mowing down people with trucks, killing innocent civilians. The imams need to come together and start monitoring what is being taught in mosques and condemning every person killing innocent people in the name of their religion. That's okay. the type of imams that we need okay. speaking. Okay. Not that okay. they rely on to justify come up with excuses. You, but sadly, we are going to have to leave it there. Do come back and talk to us again very soon. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Hope